Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. I wanted to, uh, with everything going on in the shop here, I wanted to get out a quick video today. And I wanted to talk about something that um, few people, it seems, know about. And that is different methods of fill to engrave your products a lot faster. So today we're going to discuss that. We're going to be talking about fill and offset fill and what the difference is and what the difference is between diode and CO2 as well, because that's an important fact right there. So uh, let's get started. So now uh, we're here in Lightburn. We're going to just take a primitive and draw out a rectangle. We're going to select it. We're going to, let's say we're doing a picture frame that is uh, 8 by 12. So we'll put in here 8 tab 12, and there we go. That's our picture frame. And let's offset it so that we have a, an outside here. So now this is the picture frame that we want to engrave. And we want this border to go all the way around the outside. But if we have this border going all the way around the outside, the way that it is, we'll come up here to preview and I want you to see, I'm gonna leave traversal moves on here so that you can see how this is going to engrave. And there we go. So all of the red, that you see in this preview is white space. In other words, the laser is not turning on. The laser is only turning on for the black, the border around the outside. So if we come up way up to the end over here, you'll see that just this border alone is gonna take one hour, 17 minutes, 39 seconds estimated. So. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. And here's something a lot of people don't know about and they haven't played with, and that is offset fill. Now in the offset fill mode, let's come back to the preview, 13 minutes and six seconds. Do you see the difference that this makes? And let me show you why. Because offset fill, is going around in you know around and around and around 100 percent of the time that the laser is moving it's burning so this is an important function in light burn it's an important mode to know for your engraving and you can use this offset fill for other things as well you know for uh, smaller things like let's say you had uh, a balloon in the picture and you know the offset fill you can use it for that too I typically use fill for most everything but when you have something like this you definitely want to know about this you're gonna save a whole lot of time now I will say that if we come to the layer you'll see that we've got our speed and we've got our power and here you can see this is how it will go in a circle. Now, if you're on a CO2, let me switch to a CO2 real quick. So I'm going to come down here to the, um, the mod port 80 watt. I'll click on that. And now on the CO2 laser, we have a different layer here. So let's double click that. On the CO2, you have max power and you also have minimum power so and this is extremely important uh, you know let's say that you're doing this 8 by 12 picture frame and you're going to run it at 500 millimeters a second you're going to run your max power around 50 and uh, you know what these are the settings i would use here you know i would i would use on my 80 watt mom port behind me i would use 500 millimeters a second 50 max power and 20 min power and let me tell you what that is. That is the way the laser travels. It, it flies at 500 millimeters a second across this right here. But when it gets to the corner, right here in the corner, it slows down to make the turn. So you want to make sure on a CO2 laser that you have your minimum power set right. Or else guess what? These corners are going to burn out on you. Even if you have like quarter inch plywood because when it makes that when it slows down right there if you don't have that min power set right it's it's going to burn out those corners i promise you so you want to make sure on a co2 
that you've got your max and min power set properly. So the beauty of this is that you're saving time. And that's uh, really important if you're doing a big job like this, an 8x12 as an example. And I can tell you that I did a, oh, what was it? Um, I did a 30, I think it was 30 by 20 uh, border like that. And had, had I done it any other way than the offset fill, it would have taken forever, hours to run that job. So um, this is something that's really important for you to know is your offset fill. And you also want to know when you're doing an offset fill, you want to make sure that your, your LPI, your lines per inch, are high enough to actually fill it in. Um, now, I would probably go around 318 on mine. You know, you could put it at whatever you want, but 318 is where I would go on this so that the lines would basically touch each other. You could even go a little bit higher to make sure that the lines overlap, but not too much. You know, maybe 3, 320, 321, something like that. And then you're guaranteed that you have a nice dark uh, burn all the way around. Lines overlapping, no space in between. And um, yeah, you're good. So <laughs> with that said, I wanted to make a quick video today just on the offset fill. But I'm going to add something else to it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about a new laser engraver, brand new to the market. Look for this review in, oh, I'd say about the next mm, four or five days at the most. Today is the 28th of January. The scheduled date for this review video to go up is February 3rd. It might be the 2nd or the 1st. Who knows? But... Um, it's depending on when Amazon stocks them. This is a new precision 10 watt laser that like nothing you've ever seen before. It is it has every single option in the world and uh, it's the type of laser that you pull out of the box and you get to work. So uh, you're going to want to look forward to that one. That one is coming soon. And hey, uh, you know, I'm surprised so few people have uh, signed up and um, entered in the raffle for that Hortor Laser Master 3. Don't forget, we've got that raffle going on all the way until the end of February. I mean, you could win a brand new Hortor Laser Master 3 just by going over, so either logging in with Facebook, sign up with your email address, and you can enter every day. So make sure you, you jump on that. Uh, get over to the uh, get over to the raffle site. The link is going to be down below in in the uh, description, the show more section of the video. I don't know what to call things anymore. YouTube is changing things so so quickly. It used to be description. It's called show more now. Anyway, that link will be down below for the raffle. Um, other links will be down below for laser supplies and things like that. Uh, don't forget, give the video a like, thumbs up subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified of all the new videos that come out and the live streams that i've started doing lately so you're definitely going to want to uh, jump in on the live streams if you've got any questions about laser engraving um, they're going to get answered so anyway quick video today hope you enjoyed it and as always i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.